and we need to count on you to let us educate our brothers whose farms these lines go through so that if there are trees that are in their farm we may have to cut them it will impact a little on some of their cocoa trees it is not with bad intention but it's for the good of all of us that's why we do those things you can see the picture that shows where a line passes it's quite challenging some of the lines go through very thick forest extremely thick and the reason is that we also try to minimize the cutting or going through the forest without opening it up too much that leads to those who go and illegally harvest the, the timber so we blend the two in the way we do our things galam say i don't know whether the gold has started to normally uh, form around the base of our towers it's becoming a problem for us where galam says consciously dig under our lines there are challenges where we needed to go and relocate the tower at an additional cost the one that was there was working so well but you can see that the line guys who come and tell us that oh, a tower is collapsing because you know or some of the steel members have been removed by the galamseyers because i understand they use it to do whatever in their tunnels uh, i've never been to any of the tunnels so i don't know how they do it but that's what i understand these are things that we need to let our brothers and sisters appreciate that this infrastructure are there for our collective good and we need to protect them occasionally as a, a power system we normally have some challenges normally when you you see the lines you don't see the fire on them but they are extremely dangerous extremely they are quiet but they are extremely dangerous and therefore when we make the case that look uh, we need to stay off the right of way because of challenges quite recently a typical one one tipper track you know when people see the the corridor that are available they assume it has no purpose a tipper track went collected some from somewhere i think it's a waste kind of sand tipping it he forgot where he was standing lifted the truck up he did not touch the line but all the ties got busted there was fire on the line it dropped somewhere that is close to our substation lucky for us we saw it early and fire service was called in to, to assist us if he had gone further i don't think the the driver would have survived for the ties to go best like that it is dangerous let's let's educate ourselves and stay away from it occasionally we have challenges a transformer fault we are making a conscious effort to put in a system so that even if we have a challenge with one transformer customers should not experience it at times i listen to radio and social media and people make the case that Otanabruchi, 20 years there has not been any light off in the developed countries for your house you have about three or four access to your house it's called reliability first reliability second third so the systems go off but you the consumer you don't see we are a developing country limited resources few people paying tax we need to mobilize additional resources to move ourselves into that regime the next i'll talk about has to do with all legacy lines that we are making a conscious effort to reconstruct really they will overlive their usefulness you talk about the western corridor that has to do with from pristia all the way towards kumase so takrade takwa pristia dunkwa ayamfuri all those places towards kumase that's the we call it the western corridor we are going through the emotions in line with the pfm for us to reconstruct that line.